Good morning, friends. This is Pastor Joe Palikathayel. I bring you greetings of the joy of Christmas. What a privilege it is for us to celebrate the birthday of our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ, and all the mysteries, wonders that are connected with that celebration. The angels sang joy to the world. How wonderful it is that Jesus has chosen us to be his joy to the world. For the last few days, I could not meditate. I could not record this meditation because my daughter-in-law uh, had emergency surgery and, and we had to be with uh, my son and take care of our granddaughter who is eight years of age. So I like to... I request your continued prayer for my daughter-in-law recovering in the hospital. Now, this is the season of Christmas. So joy in the midst of struggle, in the midst of pain, in the midst of disappointment. How can we be joyful? We can be joyful in the Lord Jesus Christ, not in the events and happenings around us, not even in ourselves, but in the Lord Jesus Christ, who won the victory over sin and death. Oh, let us rejoice in him. We have been meditating about how to be Christians. Today, I invite you to meditate on Romans chapter 4, verse 3. Apostle Paul was writing about Abraham. What does the scripture say about Abraham? And, she, and um, Apostle Paul calls, Abraham believed God, and it was credited to him as righteousness. That's the only thing that is righteous, believing in God, a God who created us, a God who sustains us, a God who loves us beyond our comprehension. That Lord God Almighty, when we believe in him, we are in right relationship with him. Thereby, we recognize, acknowledge, and praise God for all his creation. That is our righteousness, not our good deeds. Our good deeds and our good thoughts and all the good things about us and around us come from God. We did not make ourselves. We cannot make, uh, we cannot do things by ourselves without God's help. Everything come from God. That's the meaning of Abraham believed God and it was credited to him as righteousness. So that scripture should remind us what do we consider as our righteousness? Righteousness simply means the right kind of relationship with God and with other human beings or with the whole creation. The right kind of relationship is God first, we second, the third, the whole creation. That's the order. When we recognize God as the source of everything, as the creator of everything, as the originator of love. Oh, how wonderful it is for us to believe and receive and enjoy our relationship with God as our eternal Father and Jesus as our eternal Savior, the one who gave up his life for the salvation of the world. Not only our own salvation, salvation of the world. That is the righteousness of God. We could not have merited or deserved anything from God. It's all God's gracious gifts. Christmas is God's gracious gift. Everything is God's gracious gift. God's grace. Oh, sisters and, sisters and brothers, when we proclaim that faith, we are celebrating our relationship with God and relationship with one another as our brothers and sisters. 
Why do we hurt when people are hurting around the world? Because they are our brothers and sisters. God hurts through them, through us. That is righteousness. That's the right kind of relationship. Oh, sisters and brothers, throughout this Christmas season, let us continue to grow our right to relationship with God, with the Lord Jesus Christ, and with the Holy Spirit. Let us rejoice like the angels rejoice. Will you join me in this prayer? Let us pray. Eternal Father, we thank you for creating us in your image, in your likeness. Lord Jesus Christ, how can we thank you enough for dying on the cross to pay the penalty of our sins? Oh Lord, we praise you, we glorify you. Holy Spirit, continue to come upon us, inspire us and enable us to grow in our faith in God, faith in Jesus Christ in our faith in you. We ask these and other blessings we need, Father. In the name of Jesus, Amen.